We are in Karanda, a beautiful little village up in the Daintree Rainforest. We're going to be doing a work away up here. Beautiful drive up. We yep. are truly out in the rainforest now. <laughs> Can't wait. When everybody's done at home, Somebody comes over and rings the bell here. Hits it with a hammer. And then, everybody floats over there to the little bar in the woods. This is what we call integrating with the locals. Warren's brought us out here to what is reported to be the best cup of coffee in Karanda Village in the Rainforest. Oh, look at that. Very good. That's high praise for Kate. This is called the Historic Plane Wreck. Check out that awesome roof in here. Can you believe Kate said no to that? Tucker is Australian slang for food. Karanda is a really neat little town. Kind of like Sayulita in the middle of the rainforest. Yeah. Got a hippie vibe. It's really cool. It's unique. Our host Warren has taken us out to his office, which as you can see, is our kind of office. <laughs> Been awesome enough to give us the private Karanda boat tour. This is cool. Saw a bunch of turtles and archer fish, the ones that shoot water out of their mouths. And swallows that live on the boat. And march flies. Yes. Lots of march flies. <laughs> They're everywhere. Primitive plant doesn't have a vine in the center of the leaf. This is the oldest rainforest walk in North Queensland, and it's cassowary country. <laughs> this is all part of the Daintree Rainforest, which is the oldest rainforest in the world. And this is all a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It is awesome. at night looking for frogs and these pink flowers only come out at night. My panic goes. Eve has her learner's permit and she's now driving. Prehistoric lizard. That lizard right there is a Boyd's Forest Dragon. They're apparently very rare. I'm not sure you can tell how absolutely enormous this tree is behind me, but good lord. <music> and we thought that last tree was big. Look at this thing. And, um, this is the epic fig tree. This is a termite mound, and it's not even the biggest ones. Well, a lot of people have heard of the Mossman Gorge. Very few people have heard of Perry's Place. <laughs> Warren's friend Perry has an enormous tract of land right in the middle of the rainforest, and they were kind enough to let us go out here and hike where almost nobody gets to go. It's wonderful. This beautiful tree is a North Queensland teak. You may wonder how I know that. I just read the sign Perry put there. <laughs> this is cassowary poo. These are beehive gingers. Like this a is a crow's foot ash. Lady. Look, Carrie, it's aliens. This is a brown pine fruit, and you eat the top, and the cassowaries love it. And you know, hit yourself <laughs> in the head with it, and it's really actually pretty good. This place has all sorts of great gluten free desserts. Breakfast, we're getting the Mexican eggs. 
<laughs> you know, just a little shout out to our homies in Mexico. So this morning for breakfast, we came to Mandala, right here in downtown Karanda. Well, down village Karanda. Wonderful little place, lots of gluten-free stuff. Oh, it's fantastic, great coffee. This place is so cozy and warm and inviting. And gluten-free carrot cake and live blues. And there's Warren and Melissa, our wonderful hosts. <laughs> It's so cool that all over here there's these boardwalk. Right over there is Perry's place. Today, Warren is showing us Baron Falls and we get to walk on this beautiful sky skywalk by something. <laughs> Rainforest walk. Rainforest walk. So one of the many things that our host Warren taught us was how to cut a mango properly. You're going to find the line here, and that indicates the direction the seed's going. You just cut right along that. Once you got the halves, do some little slices just to make it into checkerboard pattern. And then, fold it over, and it's ready to eat delicious mango. Wow, oh, I love mango. Australian mangoes. They are the best in the world. If you like our video, click the thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that wasn't.